Now this is more of just kind of an exciting topic. There's, there's not that much real news here, so I won't dwell too much on it, but I just thought it was clever and neat. So little old Oppo, a smartphone developer that I've used their product before, that, you know, they're not competing with Samsung or Apple, but they're selling pretty well. They're pretty popular in the like top five range now. What they unveiled at one of their events was not a smartphone, but more of just a key concept they were working on and claim to have figured out. And they're promising that they're going to embed this new hardware design into future smartphones, hopefully this year, focusing on the camera feature, which a lot of people are trying to be creative with right now the most common new thing is having a dual camera lg g6 is doing this huawei is doing this apple is doing this doesn't seem like samsung is though so better it better just be a good camera the idea there is you can have more options in terms of how close you can get to your shots because that's kind of the boring thing with phones now we're getting really really good at megapixels and hdr and how good quality looks and all that but at the end of the day i'm at a concert and i can't see what's going on up there with this phone because i'm really far away and i can't zoom in without losing a bunch of quality so Oppo came up with a way to have a lossless zoom, as in you can zoom in with your video camera and not lose any quality. It's a really tricky thing about putting telephoto lenses in smartphones. If you know DSLRs, you know fancy cameras, you know that when they zoom in, you have to take lenses and pull them apart from each other in order to crop in on stuff. And in order to do that, your lens has to elongate. That's why when people are getting close-ups of things, their lenses are pretty long hanging off the camera. Really hard to do that in a smartphone because we're always trying to make them as thin as possible. So everyone's current situation is to just have two lenses, two sensors sensors, one that's mid, one that's more zoomed in, or with LG, you want to have a wide angle. So you have one that's mid and one that's super wide just to give users that extra option. What Oppo is trying to do is add a lens to the smartphone that can actually let you zoom in like a telephoto does on a regular camera. And ordinarily, if you wanted to have lenses like that on a smartphone, you'd have this giant thing sticking out of it. Definitely wouldn't work. So they're building that into the phone sideways. So the camera sensor is actually pointing this way. It's receiving all of the light you're looking at via a prism that bounces at a 90 degree angle so that extra long lens that can zoom in is put in the phone like this and then reflecting outward and in that way you could actually have an optical zoom on a smartphone which I think is pretty revolutionary we haven't thought of that I haven't seen many phone developers doing that either and it'd be really cool to see that implementation to where I could be filming something and do that simple pinch to zoom not switch to a different lens and not lose any data period in the video that's a pretty new and exciting technology so hats off to Oppo for being creative All I gotta do now is put it in a smartphone you, you forget got the, the rest of the thing could do that too and be careful when you're announcing these ideas to the world because now I'm sure Samsung's already working on that and they're gonna make it ten times better the iPhone 9 is gonna be great it's gonna have optical zoom there's, there's more truth to that than I'd like to admit. So that's it. I just want to give them some credit and praise because I would really personally want to see that idea played out and make its way into all of our smartphones. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.